Time traveling with vacuum cleaners, unveiling the past and charting a dynamic future. Hello dear friends, welcome to our channel. Today in an engaging and informative video, we intend to explore the history of vacuum cleaners and then introduce the most advanced models and their prices. So stay with us for an exciting journey into the fascinating world of vacuum cleaners. Part 1. History of Vacuum Cleaners A vacuum cleaner is a device that collects debris, dirt and dust through suction. Some vacuum cleaners also operate with the use of water. The history of the vacuum cleaner dates back to years before the invention of the first vacuum cleaner models. Initially, people used traditional tools such as handheld brooms or manual carpet sweepers to clean their spaces. However, over the time and with technological advancements, the invention of the first vacuum cleaner named Puffing Billy occurred in 1901 by Hubert Cecil Booth. But let's go back a bit further, to the year 1860. The evolved version of the vacuum cleaner is derived from the carpet sweeper called the Neptune. The first handheld models, utilizing bellows, were produced in the 1860s, and the first motorized designs emerged in the early 20th century. In 1860, a handheld vacuum cleaner was invented by Daniel Hess of West Union, Loa, known as the Neptune Vacuum. It used a rotating brush to collect dust and had a bellows for generating suction. While the initial design was by Daniel Hess in 1860, it was later patented in the United States on 8 of June 1869 by Ives McGeffey. Another early model, the Whirlwind, was invented by Ives McGeffey in Chicago in 1868, and a similar design was created by Melville Rubin Bissell in 1876 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, United States. Bissell also produced a Neptune vacuum. In 1898, a vacuum cleaner with a gasoline engine was invented, but it had a drawback. It sucked in air but clogged the intake, leading to explosions, and it was cumbersome. The first modern-style vacuum cleaner, the kind we use today, was invented by Hubert Cecil Booth, an individual from England in 1901. The idea for this vacuum cleaner was inspired by a demonstration of a Thurman machine at the Empire Music Hall in London. Booth, seated in the audience, covered his mouth with a handkerchief and drew air into it, realizing that dust was collected on the handkerchief. Seeing the dust accumulated, he realized the merit of his idea. The vacuum cleaner he created had an internal combustion engine that generated a piston pump drawing air through a cloth filter, preventing explosions or air accumulation. People called it Puffing Billy. However, this vacuum cleaner was too large to enter buildings and only its pipes were brought in through windows. The first portable vacuum cleaner using suction and transportable for household use was designed by Walter Griffith in 1905. He used a cylinder for dust collection and a flexible hose. In the following year, in 1908, James Murray Spangler invented a vacuum cleaner he called the suction sweeper, using water instead of a filter for dust separation. The first portable vacuum cleaner with a motor was invented by a janitor who wanted to have an easier time while working. James, working as a sweeper at the Zollinger department store, had asthma. The dust from sweeping irritated his lungs and he decided to find a solution to this problem. He decided to create an electric carpet sweeping machine. In 1907, he built the first version using a mechanical carpet sweeper as a base. He installed an electric motor from a sewing machine and placed fan blades in a hole behind the box of a vacuum cleaner. The motor rotated the vacuum cleaner brushes, separating dust from the floor, and the fan blades directed the air into a dust bag, which he had made from a pillowcase. For an improved version, he called the suction sweeper. He used a wooden soap box as the body. The invention worked. He used it to clean the full well building. His asthma reduced and eventually he had an invention that he could sell. He continued to improve it and on June 2nd, 1908, he patented it. Spangler attempted to build his own suction sweeper. He found investors but when he applied for a patent, the investors backed out, leaving him without the resources to mass produce the device. During the time, he showed the machine to his cousin's son, William Hoover, who was a manufacturer of equestrian leather goods. Hoover faced his own challenges as automobiles were gaining popularity and the demand for horse equipment was diminishing. Recognizing an opportunity, Hoover purchased a patent for the Spangler vacuum cleaner in 1908. Initially, he was producing and selling six vacuum cleaners per day, but he came up with the idea of offering potential buyers a free 10-day trial. He also hired door-to-door -door salespeople to showcase the new machines to the public. 
all of these strategies greatly contributed to the successful sales. The vacuum cleaner was initially a luxury tool, but after World War II, middle class households could afford it, and gradually many families could own and procure one for themselves. Today we have various types of vacuum cleaners, some still use filters for dust, while others collect dust through cyclone separation. Some can even collect liquids. Different types of vacuum cleaners exist today, including larger, more powerful models and smaller ones like handheld vacuum cleaners, which are easily portable with battery power. Most of them are manually operated, but some types of vacuum cleaners have self-propelled or even robotic capabilities. Part 2. Advanced Models Now that we are familiar with the history of vacuum cleaners, let's introduce some of the most advanced models. Number 1. Extreme 5000 Model this vacuum cleaner utilizes powerful suction technology and HEPA filters for air purification, allowing you to have higher air quality in your home. With smart programming, it automatically detects and optimizes cleaning in different spaces. The price of this model in the market is around $200, but considering its features and quality, it offers great value for the purchase. Number 2. Zoom Clean 7000 Model with a lightweight design and a high suction power, this vacuum cleaner enables you to easily reach even remote areas. Equipped with a powerful battery, the Zoom Clean 7000 model has a long battery life and it quickly charges. Priced at approximately 150 US dollars, this vacuum cleaner allows you to cost effectively utilize advanced technology. In this video, we delved into the history of vacuum cleaners and then introduced some of the most advanced models and their prices. We hope the information provided in this video have been useful and engaging for you. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about our future videos. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video.